Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So on my Instagram, I asked you guys what products have I made you buy or what products have you bought because of me? And you guys sent in like my top favorite products, which I'm not surprised that you grabbed because I talk about all the time, but I thought why not do a full face using those products? So for primer, I saw two people mention these. So the first one is e.l.f. They said e.l.f. primer. I'm assuming it's this one because this is the one that I talk about all the time. It's the Blurring Primer Serum. And then someone said the uh, Barry M. Dupe for Fasali. And this is the Barry Barry M Beauty Elixir Skin Blurring, no, I said that wrong, Skin Blurring Beauty Elixir, which is a dupe for the Skin Tune Blur from Fasali. These are literally a dupe for each other. They do the exact same thing. They're like a white liquid that goes on like a serum. And then once it sinks in, it just blurs your pores, makes your skin super smooth. I'm gonna go with the Barry M one because I haven't used this in a little while. But yeah, I'm not surprised you grabbed this because I rave about it all the time. I love the way it just glides on like a, it feels like a serum or like a cream, a really light, lotion gel cream i hope you like all the products that i recommend of course not everyone's gonna like everything that i like that's just the way life goes but um if you did buy something based on my recommendation i really do hope that you like it so for foundation someone said the kvd true portrait foundation but i saw a lot of you tagging me in the new nars foundation when you grabbed it because boots had a black friday sale on it and it was like 23 pounds and you get 45 milliliters of product in here it's such a beautiful foundation so so many of you um on instagram tagged me saying you bought it because of me so I thought I would go ahead and use it today but I do also really like the KVD foundation this dries down matte it's full coverage but the shade just isn't quite right for me at the moment it's a little bit dark it's like my summer shade and I don't have a winter shade so I'm just gonna go with the NARS but you guys can see how full coverage this is already just with me spreading it with my finger also so many of you said you bought my brushes of course if you don't know I do sell brushes cake liners where are they yeah water activated cake liners I also sell lashes on my website makeupbytammy.com so feel free to grab anything that you want and I don't know if I've told you guys but I also added eyeliner brushes to go along with my cake liners so this is called the on flick brush set and then these are my brushes so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this foundation in before it dries down because it is a matte foundation yeah it's already starting to dry down <laughs> I absolutely love that with the thinnest layer of this foundation, it has so much coverage. The key is though, don't go overboard. You do not need a lot of this foundation. One day I did use a bit too much and it did look very heavy and cakey on the face. So I would just say start with little. And then if you feel like you need more in certain areas, you can build it up. But yeah, look at that beautiful coverage and finish. Also guys, I don't know if you remember, I was telling you about my lips and I thought I had a reaction to lip balm, how my lips were like cracking and itching and burning and it was just not a good Good time turns out i am now allergic to peanuts somehow but not like deathly allergic it's still a mild allergy but i really got into snickers like i had like three snicker bars in one day i was really really into snickers for like a week and that week was the week that my lips my throat everything my skin was just inflamed i woke up one night i had a snickers in the night i woke up in the morning my lips were like this big and i was like what happened and i was like no it can't be the snickers it must be the lip balm the lip balm that i've been using my whole life you know when you like something so much you try to convince yourself that it can't be that i really fell in love with snickers and i was like no i can't be allergic to peanuts i've had peanut butter before i'm fine have you ever grown an allergy it's actually annoying i became allergic to fruit a few years ago like the citrus makes my throat itch my mouth starts itching everything just feels so uncomfortable after i eat fruit and it's every fruit grapes bananas grapes actually make me want to throw up it's the worst it never used to be like that when i was younger but i guess i've grown an allergy and now I think I've grown an allergy to peanuts. Anyway, that was a little sidetrack. Moving on. So for eyeshadow palette, of course, nearly everyone said my palettes with Revolution. So I thought I would go ahead and use it today. This is my Tropical Twilight Baby, which I haven't used in a little while. I decided to give you guys a little break, but this launched this year and it's now available in Ulta in the USA and also South Africa and Europe and so many countries now have it available. So I hope you guys can get your hands on it if you are interested. Did, but these are all of the beautiful shades i think it was the week after this launched i did like a week full of tutorials just using my palette so if you want some inspiration for some looks definitely check out that week but yeah i'm gonna start with primer no one mentioned a primer but i think that's because i don't really mention primer i just do primer i don't really say what i'm using but i do typically use the p louise eyeshadow base so the only shade that i haven't really played with in this palette is this dark shimmer purple down here so what i'm thinking to do is a dark purple smoky eye with this all over the lid and then one of the glitters tapped all over the lid as well so i'm going to start with the shade
shade Twilight, which is the dark cool tone purple in the palette. Very pigmented, of course. And I'm gonna start this into the crease and outer V. I'm gonna keep it pretty low because I'm gonna blend it out with a different shade. I wanna do like a Christmas tutorial as well using my palette, like a good old neutral gold eye with a red lip, you know, the classic Christmas look. And then I'm gonna dip into Dawn and Sand, these two shades here and blend that out. And I'm just using that to buff out the edges of the purple. And then I'm gonna go back in with a small dab of Twilight and build that up in the crease, bring back that darkness. So those neutral colors just basically gave the purple something to blend into. Honestly, the mattes in this palette, if I say so myself, <laughs> call me biased, I know, but they are so pigmented. If you guys have the palette by now, hopefully you can say the same. And then of course, for all over the lid, I'm gonna go in with the shade Eclipse, but first I'm gonna use my NYX Glitter Primer. Oh, I forgot to use my brushes after all of that. Well done, Tammy. Well, I'm gonna take the flat brush from my set to do the shimmer all over the lid. And Eclipse is not one of the putty shades like the others in the palette. It's just a normal shimmer. And I'm just gonna tap that all over the lid. At the time that I created this palette, I was so into this type of look and I still am. I love a shimmer all over the lid with a smoky crease. Take a small dab of Twilight and just blend out the edges of the shimmer. And that is basically the eye look. You could of course go in with another shimmer to make it pop right in the center. But what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of glitter. Which one should I take? I really wanna take Starlight, but I feel like I've used Starlight a lot. So I'm gonna take a small dab of Cocktails, which is the pink shimmer in here, the pinkish red shimmer and I literally just tap, I don't even swirl my finger in there because I don't want too much. I just want like a light diffusion of it. And I'm just gonna dab that all over my lid, no primer or anything. It sticks perfectly fine by itself and I just want a light diffusion of it. So when I turn, you see that sparkle. I don't really want opaque glitter all over the lid, just like little sparkles and that is perfect. How stunning is that? And then on the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with, Moonlit would go really nice with this, which is a pink iridescent shimmer. So you guys can see like when it's on the eye, you can't see any white, it's just pink. And yeah, that's basically the eye look, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'll come back so we can continue the face. Okay, guys, so the other eye is done. Now we're gonna move on to concealer. And there's two concealers that you guys said I made you buy. Furf, furf. First, e.l.f. Camo Concealer, my holy grail. I absolutely love this. And of course, the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. Both my holy grails absolutely love these concealers. The e.l.f. one is a little bit more drying than the Jouer one. The Jouer is still matte, but like it's a, what do they call it? Soft matte, that's what they call it because it has hyaluronic acid. So it's a little bit more hydrating than the Camo Concealer. But yeah, absolutely love these. So we're gonna use Jouer, which is nearly finished, but I've already bought a backup from Colt Beauty. So that's fine. This this is my second tube of this by the way so if this one finishes that means I've gone through this twice which I've never done with a concealer before so that is how much I love it I've been really into using the sponge lately but my sponge is not wet so we're just gonna go in with a brush the Jouer concealer to me is not one that you want to leave to set down because it does dry matte it will kind of be harder to blend out but you can leave it for like a minute or two I wouldn't say leave it for as long as the Too Faced Born this way which is a little bit more creamy I don't know if this concealer is for dry skin because it does have that mattifying effect the same with the NARS foundation but if you have oily skin these are amazing okay so next we're gonna go in with cream contour so someone said I made them by the Huda Beauty Tan Tour of course this is my absolutely favorite cream uh, bronzer along with the Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick but as you can see this is definitely very well loved so I'm gonna go ahead and take this into my contour areas. I love how easy this just blends and melts into the skin. It's so easy to work with and the shade is perfect. It's a nice warm shade. I'm just gonna push that into the hairline as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and set. There's three powders that I saw you guys mention. So first of all, the I Heart Revolution Chocolate Banana Powder, of course, my favorite. The Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Medium Deep, my favorite, ultimate favorite, gorgeous. And the Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake Powder, another favorite. All three of these are my go-to powders, so I'm not surprised you guys saw me loving it and grabbed it yourself. 
myself. What do I want to use today? I think I might go in with the Maybelline one because the other two I've used quite recently. Have I used? Yeah, I have. And just set underneath my eyes with this flawless powder. It comes out a lot lighter, well, a little bit lighter than how it looks in the pan. Usually with a powder like this, as soon as it touches your skin, it will go darker. But with this one, it doesn't. It has such a unique formula. It still brightens underneath my eyes beautifully, even though the shade looks like, normally I typically go for like banana shades or light yellow shades so that they can brighten underneath my eyes. But this shade brightens without darkening once it touches my concealer. It's so bizarre. The brightening and smoothing effect that it has, I am obsessed. Like pores where, where? Never smelt that, never heard of that. <laughs> no one actually mentioned an all over face powder, but I'm assuming someone grabbed the Charlotte Tilbury based on my recommendation. And if you haven't, I advise you do so because I use this all the time, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with this. This is the shade number three, but three and four both work for me. Oh, this base is looking delicious. These eyes are popping, guys. It's just like doing a full face of my favorite products. Okay, so we're gonna do the lower lash line. Now, at the time that I did the question on Instagram, these weren't released, but I'm assuming, because I talk about them in nearly every video, at least one of you has bought the Makeup Obsession X Tiffany pencils based on my recommendation. I don't know, I'm just putting it out there, I'm guessing, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this in my waterline this is the purple one. Oh, it needs sharpening but I use these so much I'm actually mad at myself that I didn't come out with them myself honestly I'm obsessed with these every single color goes with any look that I do Tiffany slayed it with this collab and they're actually pretty even though they're in a sharpenable pencil and not a retractable pencil the formula inside of the pencil is actually really creamy and it glides on nice and pigmented on the waterline not like dry and scratchy and the shades are really vibrant and they last all day in the waterline as well so they're obviously probably waterproof so even if you haven't bought it based on my recommendation I've bought a backup based on my own recommendation so that counts right <laughs> so I'm gonna take Twilight the dark purple underneath and buff that out just this past week I've probably done like four purple eye looks and I'm not even mad at myself normally I'd be like oh Tammy you're doing too much but you know what when you like something you like something do you know what I mean I gotta live for me guys I'm trying to please you guys but I gotta live for myself I just want to be me you know <laughs> leave me in my purple eyes alone okay <laughs> Now, when it comes to cheap products, the only thing I saw you guys mentioning is of course my face palettes that I purchased. Oh, someone did also mention the Sunkissed Giant Bronzer that I used to use years ago. You've been here for a while, girl. Thank you for staying around. Um, that bronzer, unfortunately, they discontinued and that was back in the days where there was no deeper skin bronzers. That was the only one and I used it in every single video. They actually DM'd me and said, Tammy, I know you talk about this all the time, so I just wanted to give you a heads up, but we're actually discontinuing it. And I was like, what? That was a sad, sad day in my makeup world because there was literally nothing else. Literally, there was no bronzes for deeper skin back then. That was the only thing I had. But now, thank God for 2020, I have my own palette, but also brands have actually come around and made so many br uh, bronzes for deeper skin. We thank God. So yeah, this is Paradise Glow, the lighter of the two that I created. This one's more for medium dark skin. And then we have one for deep dark skin, which is called Golden Hour. So I'm gonna go in with Bronze Goddess, which is almost hitting pan, I can tell you guys. Can you guys see that dip in there I love this and I only use the smallest amount because I'm not really into a deep deep bronze nowadays I just kind of go for a light dusting of bronzer and then if you're into contouring and really want to shape that one area go in with contoured cutie because it has a gray undertone it's really going to give you that sculpt and shadow but I wouldn't say take contoured cutie on a big fluffy brush like this because you don't want to put gray all over you just want to put the uh, contoured cutie right in this section so what I would do is take like a really small brush like that a little bit of contour cutie and concentrate it right in the hollow of your cheek just so it makes your face a little bit more you know but sometimes I'll watch someone's video and they'll take contour cutie I mean do what you want of course but they'll take contour cutie like boop boop and write all over their face and it's like mm. I mean, do what you want to do, but that's not really what I intended it for. That's what the bronzer's for, if you know what I mean. I'm not going to do blush today. I'm just going to do highlighter. So we're going to take Paradise Glow, which is a very subtle highlighter. I specifically asked them to make it very subtle because I don't really like blinding highlighters. Well, I like blinding, but I don't really like texturizing highlighters. So I wanted something that you can easily build up. That's a believable, natural glow to your skin. So as you guys can see, it has a gorgeous glow on it, but it's not super textured 
moisturizing the formula is like a baked formula and it almost has this orangey warm reflection to it it's not as icy or cool it doesn't have a white base it has like a peachy undertone because i specifically wanted something that's gonna be highlighting but definitely still very uh warm and complimentary on my skin tone so yeah you can even wet it and make it even more in intense just depending on what you like but anyways enough about the palette moving on so the last thing is of course lips but first i'm gonna put lashes on and of course i'm gonna use my lashes from my brand makeup by tammy.com this is the style ava so many of you guys have bought these lashes and supported my brand whether it be my lashes my liners my brushes honestly i appreciate your support so much you're supporting my little dream and of course god willing this is just the beginning i am saving to uh create my own custom products one day fingers crossed it's expensive guys it's expensive okay <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna go put the lashes on and i'll come back to you okay guys my back so lashes are on let's go ahead and finish off with lips so for lips of course loads of you talked about my lip kit with revolution so with the liner i have glory lip liner and then in the lip kit there are two lip glosses but someone mentioned the muse lip gloss which was my ultimate favorite this one i loved as well just like as an everyday throw on your lips and go type of color but for my go-to staple nude it was this one however with this lip liner there has been like mixed reviews so some people love it as much as i do and then others are having problems like in terms of the pencil breaking and then when they sharpen it it just keeps breaking so i actually had never experienced that but literally the other day i Sorry, my postman was at the door, but um, what was I saying? Yeah, the other week I finished my Glory Lip Liner. So I went to go and open a new one and it just kept breaking and then I would sharpen it and it would break. And it just, it was like the pencil wasn't full. I don't know how to explain it. It was so bizarre and I'd never experienced it before. So unfortunately with this pencil, it seems to be hit and miss. Some when they're good, they're good. But then when they're not, they're not. And it's so annoying. I am honestly so sorry if I recommended this and you did get a bad one. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I had no idea which is why you don't see me using it on my channel anymore i just don't feel comfortable recommending it but it's just such a shame because it used to be my favorite it's so long lasting i love the color it's like the perfect cool and warm brown it just goes perfectly with every nude but unfortunately the formula and i don't like the fact that there's hit and miss like some are great some are not it's just ugh. So what I've been using instead, which is actually the same color, but it's just a different formula and a better formula in my opinion. This is the Morphe Trendsetter Lip Liner. It glides on beautifully. It's the perfect deep dark brown. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. And when you sharpen it, it doesn't break. So I feel more comfortable recommending this one. It's a little bit more expensive than the Revolution one, of course, but I just find it's better. You can guarantee the quality, I hope. So here's Morphe compared to Glory. So this one is Glory by Revolution and then this one is Morphe Trendsetter so they're literally the same color I do also really like the NYX cold brew lip liner but this is a little bit lighter and a little bit warmer than uh, Glory and sometimes when I mix this with my nudes it can turn it a little bit like reddish or warm because it does have that warm undertone so sometimes it just doesn't go with the look but this Morphe one has been hitting the spot so I'm gonna go with the Morphe lip liner today and look at the pigmentation it just glides on so well I absolutely love this lip liner, become my new go-to fave. However, I still stand by the lip glosses in my lip kit. I absolutely love the sheer lip glosses. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. And look at this color, guys. Mm, it is a effortless nude. But of course, on lighter skin, it will be more of a deeper chocolatey brown. But yeah, that is it, guys. This is the finished look. I don't believe there was a setting spray on the list. But if I was to recommend any for you to grab, it would be the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. That setting spray is banging. So yeah, guys, this is the finished look. A full face of products that I made you buy. I stand by all of these products. Apart from the lip liner, unfortunately. I can't stand by that anymore. But everything else are my go-to products that I still use on an everyday basis and the new latest edition that I highly recommend is of course the NARS foundation if you are into a matte finish full coverage you want a NARS foundation this is the one to try in my opinion for oily skin of course if you're dry skin maybe go for the natural radiant of course I highly recommend you check out my palette if you haven't already it's available in multiple countries like I said if you are in the USA I know it took a while to get to Ulta but we there we in there go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please make sure you are subscribed because we're 
we're so close to 200,000 and I want to hit it before the end of the year, maybe, possibly, hope so. And let me know down below what product have I made you buy or what did you buy based on my recommendation. If you love it, don't tell me if you hate it, I don't want to hear it, no, I'm joking. And I'll catch you guys in my next one, take care, bye.